right, well, so that's my hacks matches. I warmed up with my brother a lot, and then I played Chango, so that's really interesting. Um, Chango, it was a 3-0. I can show that match if you guys want. It's not that interesting. I just uh, do a lot of sheep up things. You mean Ganon and Samus in melee? Dude, I play so much Ganon now. I play Ganon because of Man Ring. And I'm actually doing so well with Ganon. If Chango hit that rest, I think the entire set would have been awesome. He just missed the rest in the beginning. And I just like, I'm just gonna play safe and do whatever. I know that he wants to cover my drop through the platform, so I just stay on the platform and just leave off. I'm just like, fuck this. This is too hard to approach uh, up, so I just kind of go away. You love to see my Ganon in action? Dude, I'll, I'm playing later today with my friends. I might stream it, but... Um, I'm dropping a lot of frames because someone else is in the house using Zoom right now. So I don't think I'll be able to stream um, and play that much. I do need an email of Professor right now. <laughs> Let me just do that. I'm really... If, if we want to talk chic buff right now, I have so many nuances I'm doing. Like, the down tilt in the corner is insane as Sheik. No Sheiks do that. Like, if I played Hungry Box, I definitely would have won. Ah, uh, no. He could have teleported past me. I was just lagging too much to be CDK. Sucks. I really wanted to just beat Hungry Box and be done with the tournament. I couldn't beat Connor. I got lagged. <laughs> That was good by Chango. Really good. Oh, I tried to hit that down here. I'm, I'm pretty sick against Puff. <laughs> I destroy Puffs a lot um, when I'm playing well. And Chango at Washington has good internet for some reason. But when I play against California, the internet is really bad. He did a great uh, up there there to catch me. Crossing up with the back air is very important against Puck as well. You have to be tricky on where you're going to be. So lame. <laughs> I can't. It's, it's, it's such a long matchup, man. 45-55. Um, I think Puff does have a lot of good, strong areas in the matchup, but it's really hard to hit Sheik. I feel like it's my fault if I get hit. I think Duck feels the same as well. Like, it, it's really hard to actually dominate Sheik. But like, if they, if you get like some gimmicks, <laughs> then yeah, it's really easy. Oh, I, I rested a miss grab or I crouch cancel, rested something, you know? But if I'm just like on top platform and camping like this, like what can Puff really do? Like, look at that, I just went down and down tilted her. It's just like, all right. Uh, what, what does Puff do against this needle? <laughs> He's like wave dashing here. I'm just, okay, I'll charge some needles. <laughs> Now I charge needles on platforms, get back center stage, now I'm top platform, what do you do? And I did, I was too aggressive there, that was definitely a good from him to see that. But if I didn't back, right? Like, what does he do? He can't really chase me. <laughs> so, I don't know about 45-55.
If, like, Sheik does not get hit by gimmicks, I'm pretty sure Sheik wins, like, 60-40. But if Puff does land, like, some easy rests, then obviously it's very different. So I guess it depends on how your knowledge of the matchup is. So I think long-term... Like, if the Sheik is a better player, the Sheik will win. Um, but if the Puff is slightly better, then Sheik has no chance. <laughs> you know, it's kind of weird. Oh, slightly better and knows Ginnivics, then Sheik has no chance. But if Puff and Sheik know the matchup really well, and let's say it's like me versus Hungrybox, then I have a chance still. So I don't think it's that in favor of Puff. If I'm able to compete with Hungrybox when he was number one in the world when I was playing Sheik and I can bring him to game 5 then it can't be like that good of a matchup for Puff you know I mean I am a good player too but how can you say that Puff wins the matchup really hard if I'm able to compete with the best player in the world and I'm, I'm not top 10 so I think some people overrate it a lot so Maybe 45-55 on average is a good thing, Rad M. So let's say Pup didn't play Fox versus H-Box. Do you think he managed to eventually beat him consistently? Um, Pup is not patient enough. He just wants to go in and there, so he will <laughs> never be able to beat him. <laughs> so Pup would never do the things I do. Like, hold on. Game 2 is better showing of that. So it goes to FD. So now... No camping, really, in terms of like this platform camping, but there's like side camping. So you'll see me, I, I get hit on his side, and I'm just like, fuck this, I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. Look, it's like there's no interacting for 15 seconds, and we do 40% to each other. 20%. <laughs> the time is just going on. We're not really interacting with each other. And Pluff would never play this. And this this beginning isn't really good indicative of what I mean. You'll see once I start beating him. Like, he takes his first stock very cleanly. But Pluff would never be able to beat Puff from a deficit if they play like this. As she, he just wants to run in. So like, how do I do this? I literally just wait in center my wall him. <laughs> Man, I'm still getting beat right now. It's looking tough for me, but... Um, I'm able to bring it back. See, like, even though he's hitting me, he's not gaining much ground. I'm keeping the center stage so well against Puff on FD. FD I'm really good at in <laughs> on net play. I should just go FD a lot more. I think every game I have on FD is competitive. Even against Foxes. It's two minutes, and only one stock has been taken, you know? This is, this is not a fun matchup. Dude, up air in NTSC, it feels so much better. <laughs> that's, so, that's such a funny stock, I think. Look at this, it's just like... Waiting. <laughs> and I'm just shooting needles at him. But yeah, I lost the first stock and I already took two. Like, and I, he's almost done with this third stock. I'm really just like boxing him out really well. See, like, I go a little bit and then go back to the corner as fast as I can. He's not challenging me. And see, now these needles aren't working, he's just staying to the ground. So I had to do something with that. Yeah, Sheik has a secondary for a while, but I feel like... Yeah, I, I think Sheik is hard 
I think she requires too much tech skill to do consistently as a secondary. Um, in the long term. Like, it's really hard to play Sheik and be precise all the time. I think, again, partly is because you don't have the down air. He's, yeah, he's, he's really getting these standing needles. So how am I gonna beat that? It's like, what I'm thinking right now. And I just... So I have to do it after he does a move and lands. But even though... Even though, like, I'm pressing the... Like, I'm still hitting him a lot. I'm not going towards him on his side that much. It's just really hard. It's easy to get reversal against Puff. So I just charge these needles. I force him on the ground with them. Like, I'm okay with them, like, not moving because of the needles. And see, it's just like, he did like four back airs in the place and I can't do anything against him. Oh, this is where it starts rolling, rollbacking also. Because I hit Chango like two times. Also with the diagonal needle, you see that? It didn't, uh, he didn't beat it because he was so used to standing needles. Like that rollback, I thought he, he died, but I didn't realize he teched it. And then I accidentally do that up smash and kill him. So that was that was amazing by me, that up smash. People are usually shitting on Sheik and how easy she is. I think she's really easy at times. <laughs> like if I get a hit, it's fucking easy combos. Like, I think the most tilting I, I feel in this game is when I'm Fox and I get dash attack three times as she, <laughs> against a Sheik. Like, it feels really bad. I think uh, when you make a mistake against Sheik, it becomes very easy. But let's say you're, like, evenly matched and you're both playing well. Um, I think the Sheik has to play precise. She won't get as many random things. But if she's able to do... Like a clean hit, then it's amazing. <laughs> like you won't get like shine spike that often. Uh, like wise, as in like there's nothing as easy as that. But sometimes there is. Like back air sometimes gimps them. Um, back throw sometimes gimps them. Forward air sometimes gimps them. <laughs> it's just random. And Sheik just has better moves than a lot of characters. Like, Sheik's back air is the biggest thing in the world. Sheik's fair is, like, the best in the game. Sheik's nair is really good. Sheik's forward tilt is the best in the game, you know? So, like, sometimes you just lose to a move. That's why it's easy for Sheik sometimes. Okay, so game three. We go back to FD, and I absolutely destroy him. <laughs> So now he's trying to avoid the diagonal um, needles. So there is some adaptation, you know? He gets a great pound, but he misses the combo. And then see, he crouches thinking I'm gonna shoot the needles, but I don't, I just charge more. And he gets these really great opportunities on me with the capital. How does Puff actually hit Sheik in the center when she's dashing this thing? It's pretty hard. Yeah, the tournament winner is in, he isn't on top of it. Yeah, he messes up there and accidentally shields, so I grab him. I trade a lot here, and it's so beneficial for me. Also, the stage is so big, if he hits me in the center stage, it doesn't mean anything. So that's why this isn't that good of a stage for Puff. Like, see, he hits me once, and I'm just standing. I'm wasting a ton of needles, but I'm using them. I'm not really wasting them if I'm shooting them. I'm, like, forcing him into positions. 
Also, Sheik Needles. We didn't talk about that and how broken she is. Oh, I tried to fall with them, but I did too early. Falling Needles would destroy him there. I wonder if Up Air would have killed there. Gets a reverse back here. I mess up there. I should have hit this angle. Oh, I mess up there too. But he doesn't catch it. I think Chango is trying to be smart and like react to things, but it's too hard on that play. And yeah, he's just stuck on the ledge. Like, what does he do? I'm three socking a puff on FD. <laughs> Every time he lands with the move, I punish it. She can Falcon just too rough. Dude, I feel that. Ah, that one. See, I three socked him and it still took over three minutes. So that's why it's rough. <laughs>